Hi guys, it's Miss Allie again. I am jumping back on from my home. Still not back at church yet, but I wanted to share with you another story. Um, this week it's going to be about an Easter egg hunt. Um, because we're almost up to Easter. And, well, I don't know if it's actually about an Easter egg hunt. We'll have to find out. But it's called The Great Eggscape. And it's by Jory John and Pete Oswald. And these books are awesome. There's a book called The Bad Seed that I absolutely love. And there's another sequel to that series called The Good Egg. Um, so I'm guessing this is one of our characters from The Good Egg because it's The Good Egg Presents. But we'll have to find out what it is all about. But I was thinking it might be about an Easter egg hunt because look at these eggs. They look like they're all decorated for Easter. So I'm very, very, very sad that we're not going to get to have our Easter Palooza event on the Courthouse Square this year. But I thought this might be a second best thing to get to read The Great Eggscape. Right here. The Great Eggscape. Oh, and this book is really cool. I got it at Target. Um, but these are all stickers in it. So if you guys um, go to Target, I'm sure Amazon has it too. But it comes with all these really cool stickers that you can use to decorate your own eggs. So and they've got cool faces. Um, and if you've already decorated some Easter eggs, I would love for you to share your eggs with me in the comments um, and show me what you what you did. Um, I can't wait to see all the cool, awesome designs. We haven't decorated eggs over here yet. All right, this is Howdy. I'm Shell, an egg. How's it going? It's just me today. I'm on my own. The other eggs, where are they? Good question. The thing is, sometimes they leave the carton on weekends before the customers arrive. They escape into the store. They call it the great escape. Escape, escape, you get it. Me, I'm not really in the mood to run around if you want to know the truth. I'd rather just sit here. I don't mind a little me time. No reason to go frolic with everybody else. I prefer adventures of the imagination. It's quite peaceful here without all the other eggs. Sure, there's a part of me that wonders what they're doing right this very minute. Moment. It says, we are out. We will return whenever we feel like it. I have a few guesses. Right at this very moment. Ah, yay! Amazing! So festive. Let's play a game. Everybody pick a good hiding spot. Great idea. Shell will have to come find us. He won't know where we are. That one. I'm behind a tomato. I'm next to the avocados. I'm blending in with the potatoes. <laughs> What's so funny of that? About that, being a potato is serious business. You a potato? That's not an egg, it's a potato. Ah, this is the life. Whenever you live in a garden with lots of roommates, you never get much peace and quiet. So I'm going to enjoy this while it lasts. Exactly two hours, 36 minutes, and two seconds later. Hmm, nobody's back yet. Where are Clegg and Meg and Peg and Egbert and Greg and Shelby and Shelly and Sheldon and Frank and other Frank? Did I forget anybody? Anyway, they should have been home by now. These great eggscapes are usually over by lunch when everybody gets hungry. You see the family portrait of all of them playing soccer? I'll just wait a few more minutes. They'll surely be home quite soon. No reason to stress. No reason to pace. No reason to get all worked up. Bong. Nude! It's noon! Morning is officially over! Okay, now I'm getting nervous. Where are my friends? Are they okay? Should I go look for them? But what if they come home while I'm away? I just don't know what to do! <gasps> Meanwhile, homemade farm to table. <laughs> Pickles. <laughs> Ah, 
I must find them. Where do I start? Maybe in aisle one. This seems promising. Pickles, pickles, pickles. It's all pickles! Sheesh! Wait! Greg! Is that you? What are you doing by those pickles? And why are you painted like a galaxy in outer space? I'm hiding. But why? Why not? Well, I found you. Indeed you did, Shell. Indeed you did. Shall we look for the others? Indeed. Found you. Found you. There you are. Found you. Is that everybody? Line up, eggs. Let's see. We have you and 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 you. That's 10 eggs plus one, which equals 11. Hmm. Wait just a minute. Where's Meg? Has anyone seen Meg? Meg! Wait, where are you guys going? To get some lunch, Shell? Maybe take a nap? Hide and seek is tiring. Meg will turn up eventually. She always does. Eggs, halt! As the old saying goes, if a fellow egg is hiding, we must look until we find them. Or maybe that's a new saying. Anyway, we're not finished until we're all back together as a dozen. Got it? Good. Let's go. Greg, search the high shelves. Peg, search the low shelves. Clegg, don't forget the middle shelves. Sheldon, look through that bag of marshmallows. Shelby, comb aisle five. Egbert, investigate aisle six. Me, I'll scour the discount aisle. Meg has got to be around here somewhere. Shell, Shell, I found a note by the cash register. It might be a clue. Well, read it, Greg. Okay, okay, you don't have to yell. If you want to find an egg just like a pot of gold, go where things are sold in bulk and look for something bold. It was a clue, Shell. I mean, it's a clue. Indeed, Greg. Indeed. Hmm. Bulk. Bold. Bulk. Bold. Bulk. Wait! I think I've got it! Follow me, eggs! To the bulk bin aisle! Onward! Wow! There are just so many bins. But which one is the right one? How would we know? Um, Shell, remember how the clue said to look for something bold? This says bold copy. Do you think Meg is hiding in there? Of course, Peg. Of course. Eggs, shoulder stack, unite! <laughs> we found her. Oh, hi. I thought you were never going to find me. Nice work, Shell. Glad you found your way out of the carton for once and into the world. Thanks, Meg. But it wasn't just me. We found you as a group. And now we're back together again. Whew! You know, looking for eggs is fun. Finding eggs is more fun, but the most fun of all, a chance to frolic with your friends. Say, when's the next great eggscape? Shall we do this again tomorrow? Indeed we shall, Shell. All right. And that was our book, The Great Eggscape. So, this week, maybe you guys could have a Easter egg hunt. Um, if you don't have any plastic eggs hiding around your house, maybe you could ask your mom to hard boil some and y'all could decorate them and then y'all could go hide them together. Just make sure you know how many eggs you hide because if they're a real egg, you don't want to find it like weeks and weeks later when it starts to smell really bad. So. I hope you guys have a lot of fun. We're so sad about Easter Palooza, but we had a lot of fun reading this book with you. I hope you'll have a great week and happy Easter.